Well, it's the end of October, which means that it's time to check out the Hall of Candy this year. And things are actually looking pretty good. Now, normally I'd do a roll review this week, but I mean, I've just been so busy in terms of watching classic Halloween movies and getting out and rooting around for candy in the neighborhood that I just haven't had the time to uh, get out and shoot any rolls recently. So I'm looking to probably postpone until next week until I can kind of get back out and start shooting again and ooh, looks like I got a little something special in the candy bag this year. I mean, it's no Kit Kat bar, but maybe it's worth checking this stuff out. The Film Photography Project has recently put out some new black and white films and Wolfman is one of them. And I mean, when better to do a role review of a film called Wolfman than right now? Wolfman is a solid kind of classic looking black and white film. It's panchromatic, which means that you're gonna get pretty normal characteristics and nothing crazy like orthochromatic film that is limited in terms of sensitivity. But Wolfman is also really flexible, and easy to shoot, and just kind of fun. It's available in 35 millimeter and medium format rolls. And it's also the same kind of film that the Film Photography Project puts out in 16 millimeter as their Cine 16 black and white negative 100 ISO film. Now uh, let's take a look at, sorry. Let's take a look at some shots here of Wolfman. And as always, everything is over on the Patreon for the role reviews and I mean, also, this stuff has been developed by myself in HC110 and scanned just on a regular flatbed scanner, the Epson V700. So let's take a look at some of these shots. Now, Wolfman is a 100 ISO black and white negative film. 100 ISO does mean a lower light sensitivity, but don't necessarily ignore this film if you've got no interest in lower ISO films like that. Also, if you're only shooting like 400 ISO films like Portra 400, Broaden your horizons. Wolfman is actually really easy to shoot for a 100 ISO film. And in fact, I would recommend maybe even doing it at 200 or even 400, especially if you want to try and like bump up the contrast because some of my stuff was coming out even a little bit bright when I was shooting it at just 100. This does give me good information in the shadows and the highlights here, which means that there's a lot to work with if you want to do your own editing on your scans. I'm able to just kind of edit in my own contrast and punch things up a little bit, but also kind of retain shadow and highlight information if I want. To. It's a nice gradual contrast though if you shoot it at 100 and the grain goes along with that low ISO to give you a pretty smooth look. Panchromatic black and white also means that this stuff is sensitive to all colors of the light spectrum. So like Ilford's ortho film is an orthochromatic film which lacks sensitivity to reds and gives you a different contrast. But Wolfman and most black and white stuff is panchromatic. That means you should have no fear capturing your scenes regardless of the colors in your shot. Also, I will definitely be doing a roll review on Ilford's Ortho pretty soon. And who's giving out healthy snacks? And I also shot a roll of Wolfman in 120 medium format on the Mamiya Universal as well. For this stuff, I decided to have a little bit of fun here. Throw a little light below you, toss that Mamiya Universal on a tripod, and I just did some different exposures and played around. Ooh, so spooky, so moody. Pretty scary. I'm pretty happy with some of these, I'd say. And again, the flexibility of Wolfman here gave me some pretty good results with this stuff when shooting it on like a very lowly lit subject. Wolfman is fun and maybe isn't the most standout black and white film out there, but the film photography project people are great. I wouldn't necessarily consider Wolfman to be the sharpest looking film either, but I for sure got some shots that I really like on this stuff. Also having some fun and offering themed or just different film stocks like these, Add some variety to the usual lineup of things like Acros and Tri-X and just like HP5 or whatever. And I mean, who doesn't love the Wolfman? Now for any kids watching, just remember that monsters aren't real. Oftentimes things aren't always as they seem. Maybe even something that looks spooky upon like first viewing like this is actually not very scary at all. And in fact, a little out of focus. So during this spooky season, just remember that the dead aren't actually rising from the grave. Unless, of course, you count all of us out here who are shooting film, because as many people like to tell us, it is in fact a dead format. But some of the great people that are working to keep this stuff alive and available are the Film Photography Project. They offer a wide variety of different film stocks from like more common things like 35 to less common things like eight millimeter and like 620. They do processing, they do scanning. You can buy chemicals from them. They've got a podcast. If you are unaware of the Film Photography Project, then definitely go check them out through the link in the description of the video. They also have another Halloween themed black and white film out right now, which is called Dracula. It's a 64 ISO black and white film that has high sensitivity, 
great sharpness and really fine grain. So definitely go check that out if you're interested in that as well. It's a little bit different from the Wolfman stuff. And as for me, I'm gonna keep digging around through this bag and maybe check out some more classic old school monster movies in just a little bit. But I'm also gonna sleep pretty soundly this Halloween knowing that there is nothing out there that can possibly scare me. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, checking this out. I've definitely had my share of candy while making this. So uh, head over to the Film Photography Project if you're interested in Wolfman or Dracula film or any of the like wide variety of stuff that they offer. Let me know your favorite uh, classic horror monster Halloween themed spooky movie down in the description below. Also uh, links for the Analog Resurgence Patreon if you want to support this channel so that we can keep doing this forever and ever, even into the afterlife. The P.O. Box if you want to send something uh, film, fun related stuff along for me to check out on the channel. And a link for uh, Pro 8mm out in California if things like 16mm and Super 8 are more of your jam as well and you're looking for uh, services for that stuff. So anyways, happy Halloween and October and uh, you know, whatever it is that uh, you celebrate or don't celebrate this month. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon.